Let's talk about how to use the Zcam plugin to do color correction and simple color grading. I'm using a DaVinci Resolve on a MacBook Pro for this demonstration. So once you have installed the plugin and if you go to the color tab, you should be able to see the control panel on the right hand side. So just put the C lock color onto the note. Then you can see the color is immediately changed. This would be the same as if you would apply the Z lock nut that we have provided to you. Uh, but of course, the plugin is a lot easier to use and you have better control of the entire process. If you go to the bottom of the control panel here, the first thing you see is uh, output color space. We have actually made available a number of different um, selections. So just pick the one you like. But the one we like is this one the AX2. So this one will give a color output very close to a well-known cinematic camera. Here in the synth mode, we have two options, normal and stage. So only use stage if you are shooting um, a concert, for example, uh, where you don't want uh, oversaturated colors. But for this example, we use normal. Look and feel, there are also two options, normal and cool neutral. Personally, I quite like um, the cool neutral look. But for this demonstration, I think uh, we stay in normal. If we go to the top of the control panel, we see the gain RGB. If you uncheck it, then you can see the breakdown of the RGB components and you can adjust them um, individually. But normally, we just um, check it to make things simple. Before we go into the detailed adjustment, um, you want to make sure that uh, the exposure of the footage is correct because when you sh when you shot it, you sometimes overexpose or underexpose a bit. The beauty of using our plugin to adjust the exposure is that it is in the linear space, so this would make sure that the color is always accurate, whether you increase or decrease the exposure. So to get the right exposure um, of her face, I think her face is around here and it should be around um, 500. So in this case, I think if I go for minus three, her face, is around 500 that is about right so the next thing I would do is the white balance and this is very important because if you want to get the um, her skin tone right you have to get the white balance right as we can see here red is too high it's higher than blue so to adjust red and blue, we use color temperature here. Now we can see that red is almost identical as blue. But then green is still too high. So to adjust green, we use the tint. Let's go back and check now. Red and green and blue are almost identical, all three. 
So once her background white balance is correct, then her skin tone is also correct. Q, normally we don't touch it. We just leave that, leave that at zero. Saturation, very simple to understand. Either you increase the saturation or you decrease a bit. But here for this demonstration, I think zero is okay. Um, gain. This is for adjustment of the highlight area, the upper part. So if you increase the gain, you can see the entire waveform is being pushed to the top. But at the same time, it would affect the shadow area. And if you don't want the shadow area to go up too much, you may use the, uh, the gain anchor here. So just set a value. You can see the shadow area would remain um, darker. Lift. Leaf is for adjustment of the shadow area. But then again, there's also the lift anchor for you to set a um, certain value in case you don't want to um, affect the highlight area. So this is more or less to define um, the threshold where you want the, the lift to kick in. Offset, this is for the entire image. And normally you just leave it at zero. And if you want to adjust the, um, the middle gray area, and you should adjust the gamma. But if you adjust the gamma here, this is too sensitive. So check this one, apply gamma bias. Then you would make the adjustment less sensitive. So it's easier to adjust it this way. And you can also define the boundary, the start and the end of it using these two parameters. But right now, um, this waveform, this is after NAT. Um, in the next release, we will probably uh, make an adjustment um, here um, to illustrate um, the boundary um, in the linear space for easier understanding. So this covers more or less um, all the settings in the plugin. I hope you would try it with the, the Zcam E2 footage and see if you like it and if this is a much better workflow for your color correction and color grading. Thank you.